Hey there, this is uh, Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, I've spent uh, quite a number of uh, hours trying to figure this out. Unfortunately, it was not something that just kind of stood out and grabbed me. Um, as it stands right now with uh, Visual Studio 2010 from Microsoft or 2008, uh, when you create a DLL, um, it's not very easy to have another C++ or Visual C++ application import and read and talk to that DLL. It was a real struggle I went through to figure that out. I don't know why Microsoft would do that, but nonetheless, I found a, uh, a simple walkthrough guide from MSDN that um, I can confirm that does actually work. Um, took a bit of a uh, few attempts to get it working, but I do have it. Um, and uh, this is the actual link you need to go to msdn microsoft.com uh, blah 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 walk through creating and using a dynamic link library for C++ now again as I said I'm using Visual Studio 2010 C++ Express Edition this was not an easy feat um, I'm sure with 2008 it's another completely uh, mind game you gotta go through to get it working for 2008 but the link is here um, and honestly I went through the good sites like Code Project uh, was a coding guru or something like that but this seemed to be the only one that seemed to work that's kinda modern for uh, the Visual Studio 2010 now where am I going with this um, I've created a Visual Studio uh, C++ project from their uh, generic uh, math funks DLL um, but on top of that I wanted to test my converted uh, code from a model from within MATLAB to see if I could call it so as you go through your source code with that tutorial that I just showed you this link this walkthrough and you take it an extra step to be able to have your uh, MATLAB converter, a uh, MATLAB coder toolbox which is converted into C++. Um, there was a trick there in order for me to get to where I'm at right now. Uh, I'll give you a hint. With MATLAB uh, you can uh, create a static library uh, from within MATLAB using the coder toolbox uh, when I tried it it didn't work it gave me all kinds of errors pertaining to not finding and make uh, and I kinda gave up I really didn't honestly care about that step um, what I cared about was the source code so what I'm about to show you is I've created my own DLL or my own static library um, and now I've taken it one extra step to be able to call my MATLAB coder converted C++ code. So it's basically I've converted a MATLAB M file uh, or a model, converted it through the MATLAB coder into C++ and I've created a shrinkage uh, model. It's simple enough but these are the elements that are banged out from MATLAB. You get all the MATLAB uh, uh, functions. Uh, they're pretty well standard converted C++ code. There's an ABS for absolute value, your mod, your random, um, so on and so forth. There's some other extra code created uh, for initialize your data, your terminate. Um, so these are things that you can optimize from the coder toolbox. Uh, within uh, MATLAB. Um, I'm just using a default. I just want to test to make sure I was able to get to this point. Again, after a few struggles, I was able to do it. Um, so basically, using this walkthrough tutorial, I was able to get to that point where I was able to create a blank or a boilerplate DLL in Visual Studio 2010 um, using that tutorial, but now I can um, dynamically or statically call my shrinkage um, function or method uh, which can be found in the shrinkage estimators um, I believe but uh, it does work I have tested it and um, 
it's something I kind of thought I'd share with you guys so that you could understand that uh, it, it is, uh, how should we say, a bitch to get, but I happen to get it working, um, be able to bridge the two now, and uh, be able to bring in my MATLAB, Matt, my, let me start this over again, my MATLAB coder from the toolbox, the toolbox coder, and generate a C++ uh, converted code and be able to implement it into a Visual Studio project where I can create a DLL and and have it talk to my client C++ application. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you uh, also I'm using a DLL so out of the box I can uh, do fancy things um, and have a C sharp application talk to this DLL no problem but the trick is to get a C++ application talking to that C++ DLL. It was a trick. I don't know why. But um, the thing that I found um, that was the trick is this right here, this line. Uh, static underscore uh, static underscore underscore DEL declare spec DLL export. See the problem is you can define your um, functions publicly in a defined DLL, but this line right here, when it's linking, tells a linker and exposes these functions um, to your client C++ application during the linking process. Unlike which a standard C# -sharp build is totally different. So that is a distinction between C++ and C# -sharp within the Visual Studio world. Um, but uh, that is the key right here this static declare um, so that's to create your DLL now um, for those that are fairly new uh, to this whole world of C++ there's your DLL and your static library um, one thing I'd like to show you is um, under your DLL um, project you have an option right here where you can can say is the configuration type a DLL or is it a static library so when it links it builds either your library or a DLL I thought that was one trick that you may be interested in knowing about and that's under your properties under the general um, but follow this walkthrough and that should be able to get you up and running to create your basic DLL for your C++ client as well as if you're doing what I'm trying to do to create a MATLAB coder uh, converted C++ application this is your next step is to create this DLL or your static library I'm hoping that helps you out please tell me um, I'm always responding to whoever might have some queries thanks